Hi, this is Robbie again. I had an idea a little while ago, a chessboard, and put, instead of chess pieces, put bullets of different sizes. I thought it might have a kind of cool effect. So I started setting up the chessboard, and luckily I had all the right bullets. So let's see kind of what I have so far. So far I have the chess, or the bullets on the board set up as chess pieces. I have 9mm as pawns, I have shotgun shells as the uh, rook. I have 44 Magnum set up as the a 50 caliber AE set up as the bishop, and a 223 queen and 308 king. I thought this would be pretty cool. My chessboard is made out of glass, so I can probably get an interesting reflection. I'm going to use the 514, and I'm thinking about maybe using ambient light so I can open up the aperture really wide, get a shallow depth of field, so it can focus on the back set of chess pieces and the pawns will start fading out and the chessboard will be blurring out. So I'm going to experiment. I'm probably going to use just the modeling lights on a few of my uh, strobes. So my main key light is probably going to be my Alien BB-800 with a giant beauty dish on it. I'm going to just turn the modeling light on, position it, and hopefully I can get a totally black background. It should be far enough away that uh, my black foam cores there will be cancelled out and become totally black. That's the hope. I'm going to experiment. We'll see how this works. I might step it back a little bit further and go with the 100mm macro, but I'm just not sure if my room, if I can accommodate, I'll have to move a couch. So let's get started. I'm going to switch you over to infrared because since we're going ambient, I'm going to have to kill a lot of the light in this room. Okay, we're starting to get something that's pretty cool. I'm gonna adjust some angles and see if I can mix it up a little bit. You know, since we're going ambient, we can do an HDR. That could be kind of interesting. Okay, so I got a few shots that might be okay with the 514. I'm going to switch to the 100mm macro, get a little bit further back, close up, see if I can find an interesting angle. I'm not quite sure this is doing it for me. So it also looks pretty cool with a flash, so it's still experimenting. Alright, I might have got something kind of cool. Let's go take all these into Lightroom and see if anything turns out. So now we're in Lightroom. I've done a first pass, and these were the images that I liked the most. Surprisingly, a few of these turned out pretty cool. So let's take a closer look. This was with a 50mm using ambient light, so I'm at f2.0. You can see the front bullets are out of focus, back ones are pretty much in focus. We're getting a chromatic aberration just because we're at 2.0, pretty close to wide open. Similar, different angle, focus points slightly different. <clears throat> Lighting changed a little bit and angle is different, but this is one that I turned into an HDR. So here's the neutral image from the HDR set. Here's the actual HDR set. So three images plus minus two EV processed. And it looks pretty cool. Not sure if I'm getting a little bit of barrel distortion or no, I'm just not perfectly straight. Next one, kind of a different angle. I like the reflections. It was pretty cool. Straight on. This is when I first switched to flash, and I also switched to the 100mm macro. So you can see the aperture is now at 7.1. This is one I liked quite a bit. 
Also with flash, 100 millimeter macro, so I'm quite a bit further back. This one was, I think, one of my favorites. I like how it, the board is like floating in midair. With flash, F10, everything is nice in focus. And another angle, a little bit more reflection. Back to the beginning. So this was the one that I liked. This is my keeper out of the bunch, or my full process out of the bunch. I took it into Photoshop and just cleaned off some of the dust. I removed labels on the shotgun shells just in case I decide to submit this to a stock photography site. I'm not sure if I will yet, but just leaving options open. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, comment below. Thanks. Bye.